don't know about you, but I'm concerned with what's happening in this world. I'm concerned with the structure. I'm concerned with the systems of control. Those that control my life and those that seek to control it even more. I want freedom. That's what I want. And that's what right. I want. Okay, let's, um, let's begin. The obstacles to truth media blackout. devised a method for exploring a hidden part of the mind, which nowadays we call the subconscious, the part which is totally unknown to our consciousness, that there exists a barrier in all our minds which prevents these hidden and unwelcome impulses from the unconscious from emerging. Do you know what um, these forces are, by the way, anyone? They are lower desires, our sexual desires, our um, animal more animalistic desires, but I, I don't really like to use that term animalistic because I think a lot of animals act with a bit more decency than decency than some of us humans, to be honest. It's our sexual desires. They they, they manage to um, unearth these um, forces and use them in consumerism and in music to infiltrate the masses. And what we get today is as, is a result of that. It's psychoanalysis. If we understand the mechanisms and multitudes of the group mind, it is now possible to control and regiment the masses according to our will without their knowing it. In almost every act of our daily lives, whether in the sphere of politics or business, or in our social conduct or our ethical thinking, we are dominated by the relatively small number of persons who understand the mental processes and they use psychoanalysis. The elite use psychoanalysis to do this, okay? and social patterns of the masses, it is they who pull the wires which control the public mind. It was George Washington who was one of the tobacco um, industry leaders at the time. Approached Edward Bernays to see how they could make more money from, from cigarettes, from tobacco. Edward Bernays approached one of his colleagues, I think it was Abraham Hill, he was a, one of the lead, leading psychoanalysts of their time, and he said that <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the cigarette was a symbol of the male penis yeah. and if you could use yeah. that as a, as a um, you know you yeah. can do it yeah. they use sex to sell this is an advert for BMW <laughs> <laughs> and it basically says <laughs> you can't actually get paid you know you're not the first <laughs> it's nice, it's nice, <laughs> <isn't> it? <laughs> Yeah, this is actually for a car, and it says, you know you're not the first, and it's BMW, but can, you, can anyone see a car anywhere? No. Right, what, wait, wait, what's this advert for? Bonus chicken. <laughs> Bonus chicken? More like meatless chicken. Meatless chicken, actually. Chicken wing. Maryland. Sorry. No, no, seriously, on a level, like, can anyone tell me what this advert's for? On the way off, or shoes. It actually says it there really faintly. It says, becoming a donut is probably your only chance to get inside her. <laughs> this is something I found, and I just, I was just like, yeah. I was blown away. I was blown away. Yeah, it says, it basically says, Burger King, Super 7 incher, and then it's got this lady with her mouth open and then a 7 incher coming at her, um, 7 inch burger. The words, it'll blow, are highlighted. <laughs> yeah, and then it says, it'll blow your mind away. I mean, come on, like, Murder King. that's not sexual at all, is it? Like, that's not sexual at all. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I saw that advert and I was like, I wanna see how that smells. And that perfume actually smells really nice. Yeah, but 
<laughs> have you got yeah, have you yeah, got yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, because I actually like both those actors. I like the actor and actress here. Okay. So I was like, oh, okay, I know them. But I didn't actually acknowledge that they were having whatever they were doing in the video. I didn't acknowledge that. I just thought, oh, yeah, I know them. I like them. I'm going to check that perfume out. But then I looked at it again. I was like, that's actually playing on the TV in the daytime. And I was like, that's not appropriate. Yeah. That's their way of getting into us because, like, this was before I was awake. And I was thinking, yeah, I'm going to buy that perfume. They do it so much in advertising that they yeah. make it feel like it's normal yeah, to exactly. do these things, do you know what I mean? Yeah, because I'm not going to lie, I'm not perfect. I was victim to this. I'm not anymore because I'm starting to wake up. Yeah. It is often the case that a woman, and even a man, may own four or five different types of scent, if not more. Statistics show that the average person will own at least two bottles of perfume or aftershave that were given as gifts. During 2003 in the UK alone, there were over 70 new perfumes or aftershaves launched onto the market. Now, the other day, I did like a quick, 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 quick survey, and I asked, like, because I'm a hairdresser, I asked some clients. One, hair, one client said that she'd spend between, the maximum she'd spend would be between 100 and 200 pounds for perfume. And I was like, a hundred? Two hundred pounds? One bottle. And one bottle of perfume. Oh, that is the maximum she would spend. I mean, if you can notice on this picture, I mean, he's tattooed up with um, all the top brands. CK, Sony, Nike. MTV, Coca-Cola. Levi's. He's the next consumer. They target us from birth. Literally. Um, another picture of consumerism. Can you see what that is, ladies and gentlemen? No. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Okay. 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 McDoodoo's. McDoodoo's breast milk. My poison. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> McDoodoo's. Puma. Oh, God. And this I, is I, 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 I must apologise for showing you some of these um, images, but, you know. I don't get it. Oh. We need to. Oh, I got it now. I got it. Have you, have you like looked closer at it? Yeah. Have you looked yeah. closer? Yeah. 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 Good luck. Good luck. I know what's working. Wait, wait, I actually, need to come round and look, guys. What's that on come round and have a look. I just said that's what I just said. Look what's on her knee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. It's an advert. It's Puma. It's Puma. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese on bread. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's funky. <laughs>